uh, I'm just going to cut to the chase. They're, the medical staff is killing the patients. It's not COVID. So you have nurses, medical professionals of all kinds afraid to speak out and tell the truth about what they're seeing in their emergency rooms, in their ICUs, all of those things. And I'm going to go into how bad it is in a second. It's, it's gut-wrenching. Um, and then you have the other 50% that are so terrified of COVID that they've thrown all critical thinking out the window. Basically, you go into the hospital with any type of upper respiratory issue. They immediately treat you COVID. Let's say a 35 year old man walks into the hospital, has no previous conditions, is a healthy man, just has some respiratory issues. If his oxygen drops below 90, <coughs> excuse me, 92% in, oh, with over six liters of, of oxygen, they're venting, they're venting. They're completely bypassing BiPAP, CPAP, all of it. Their justification for bypassing CPAP is that they don't want the open, open air circuit, okay? Whatever. So they're completely going away from BiPAP. They're going straight to venting. The medical community knows that venting people is typically a last ditch effort. We know that the second a person is vented, it, they're saying that over 75% of patients that are being vented are not surviving. So a 35 year old walks into the hospital, consents to being vented because they're so freaking scared of something that we now know is as deadly as the flu that they're letting them vent them and put them into a medically induced coma or just give them sedatives. This is how they're treating patients in these hospitals. They are not giving hydroxychloroquine. They actually laughed when they were asked about it. They are not giving uh, z -packs. They're not giving anything that we are seeing working all around the world. They have everybody on that is COVID, COVID and non-confirmed COVID, like that both and these people are together. They're in rooms together. They are giving them broad spectrum antibiotics and sedatives and venting them and then leaving them to die. A direct quote from one of the charge nurses, when somebody had a fever of 104 was, oh, we're not gonna medicate him, he's dying. Excuse me? I'm sorry, what? You're not even gonna try? They're being told to not perform any life saving no CPR no nothing that is going to be basically like you signed a DNR they're not doing the rapid tests that are giving you results in 45 minutes they are using the ones that they have to send into the labs and again when asked why and how long those results take they laughed and said five days if we're lucky so what they're doing is they have COVID patients that are confirmed COVID and then they have rule out COVID they're ruling everything else out and assuming they're COVID, rule out COVID. They're putting them in rooms together. These nurses are in the same protective equipment all day long. The only thing that changes is their gloves. If you know anything about cross-contamination or any of that, even the slightest bit, you know how bad that is. If you are a nurse, if you are a CNA, if you are any of those things, you know that that is an ex it's completely ridiculous to be venting somebody. These people are speaking in full sentences, full sentences. They're alert, they're talking. They're just having some upper respiratory issues. You think that everybody's dying because of this COVID when really it's the vents that are killing people. The problem is the oxygen level in the blood, okay? That's the problem. This is not every doctor that is thinking critically and blowing the whistle is coming out and saying this is not ARD. This is not what we're used to seeing, okay? Usually when people are that severe, they can't speak to you. They are in distress. They can't breathe. 
These people are speaking sentences. These people are alert. They are not, it's not like they are struggling. The trucks outside with the bodies are real. They're very much real. Okay, first of all, if you guys were that concerned about COVID, why do you have a bunch of bodies that are infected with COVID just sitting in a truck outside? So it seems like this is political and that this is about money because they get a lot of money for every COVID patient and they don't even have to test. A lot of them are not even testing. They are a rule out COVID. So now they can claim that they're a COVID patient. No autopsies are happening. Perfect scenario. They can't have guests there. So guess what? You don't have an advocate. You don't have a family member there with you. You don't have anybody to say, wait a second, something's wrong here. Like if this is that bad, why are you not, why are you in the same protective gear? Why are you not giving my spouse what we know works? Doctors are saying when they use the z pack and hydroxychloroquine that they're seeing their patients recover in a matter of 48 hours, 72 hours, complete, like just completely better. People are dying and they are leaving them on hospital beds for hours hours with a patient in the same room the charting is horrible horrible okay horrible charting they're barely charting anything if somebody codes they're not responding if your loved one codes they are not responding the drips are being put outside the hospital room if you've ever been in a hospital for any situation, you know your drip is right there. The drip is being put all the way outside the door. How how are your nurses supposed to properly assess you if your drips are all the way outside the door? They're not even going in there at all. There are hundreds of nurses sitting in New York hotels on FEMA's dime that are not being used. While the hospitals are saying we are slammed, and some of them are. The nurses are freaking exhausted because they're venting everybody and killing everybody without even realizing they're doing it. And I can't imagine looking back 10, 20 years from now when everybody sees the truth and thinking, oh my God, I was a nurse, I was involved in that, and I thought I was helping people. It seems like this is happening in New York in the lower income hospitals. They're getting a lot of money for every patient that is COVID. They don't have to test them to prove they're COVID. They're getting even more money for everybody they're putting on vents. This is about money and it seems like this is about politics. Like they want to make the numbers look high. Um, they wanna make Trump look bad. I just cannot believe that this is happening in 2020.